Defeat depression fatigue. Techniques from cognitive behavior therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, acceptance and commitment therapy. Depression can be a complicated condition impacting nearly every aspect of life. One of the major problems with depression is how it disrupts normal sleep. It can leave the individual with depression experiencing exhaustion, sapping energy, and making daily tasks seem overwhelming, if not impossible. The relationship between depression and fatigue is complicated and involves psychological, physiological, and behavioral factors. However, there is hope, and some of that hope is grounded in evidence-based therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, dialectical behavior therapy, DBT, and acceptance and commitment therapy, ACT, which offer practical tools to help overcome the energy-sapping aspects of depression. Physiologically, depression disrupts normal, healthy sleep patterns leading often to either insomnia or excessive sleep. Both increase fatigue. Neurochemically, depression alters neurotransmitter levels, lowering energy and motivation. Three key neurotransmitters involved with disrupted sleep patterns are serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Serotonin plays a significant role in regulating mood, appetite, and sleep. When an individual is depressed, the serotonin levels may be reduced to the point that sleep, particularly falling asleep or remaining asleep for a healthy time period, are greatly disrupted. Norepinephrine is actively involved in the body's stress response and helps regulate alertness and arousal. When norepinephrine is dysregulated as in depression, it can lead to insomnia that can make it difficult to fall asleep, cause the individual to wake up several times throughout the night or wake up too early in the morning and experience difficulty returning to sleep. Dopamine is actively involved in motivation, reward, and pleasure. When an individual is depressed, the dopamine levels can be altered and cause sleep disturbance of several forms, difficulty getting a restful sleep and dysfunctional sleep-wake cycles. Psychologically, depression is either caused by and or results in dysfunctional thoughts, such as the unhelpful belief that one is worthless. Believing that one is worthless, no good, a loser, or beyond help, can decrease the desire to engage in previously energizing activities. This cycle is problematical because the fatigue deepens the depression, and the deepened depression worsens the fatigue. This is a vicious, unhelpful cycle that may cause the individual to feel helpless and hopeless. Let's consider techniques from CBT, DBT, and acceptance and commitment therapy that may help address the depression fatigue. CBT offers several helpful techniques to overcome the dysfunctional cognitive factors contributing to fatigue. Through cognitive restructuring, individuals learn to identify, challenge, and replace dysfunctional and irrational beliefs that contribute to and maintain fatigue. Behavioral activation encourages scheduling activities the individual generally finds pleasurable and meaningful, which may help combat the inertia that typically accompanies depression-related tiredness. Additionally, individuals can learn how to conserve their energy by prioritizing daily tasks and setting realistic measurable approach goals. DBT also offers several helpful techniques to help better manage dysfunctional emotions and interpersonal challenges, which often are often made worse by the fatigue and depression. Mindfulness, in the context of DBT, is not limited to static meditation but encompasses mindfulness movement, such as yoga or walking meditation. By orienting individuals to the present moment and embracing a non-judgmental awareness of bodily sensations, mindfulness movement can help alleviate fatigue and increase energy levels. Finally, acceptance and commitment therapy offers several helpful techniques to confront fatigue by promoting psychological flexibility and values-driven action. Diffusion techniques help individuals detach from exhausting thoughts and emotions, 
freeing up mental energy for pursuits meaningful to the individual. Mindfulness in this model, as in CBT and DBT, emphasizes acceptance of inner experiences without resisting the experience of internal negative thought and emotions. This may permit individuals to make room for fatigue without either ruminating on it or being consumed by it. Helping an individual clarify their values may help them identify activities that better align with their values. This helps increase purposive action marked by greater energy. Now let's consider six concrete and easy steps to take that may help increase energy and decrease fatigue associated with depression. 1. Develop a sleep routine. Create a clear sleep and awake times to help regulate circadian rhythms that may improve sleep and decrease fatigue. 2. Engage in graded activity. Introduce gradually activities that are pleasurable and meaningful to the individual. Start with small realistic steps and have the client monitor any self-defeating thoughts that impede taking those gradually building steps. 3. Practice mindful movement. Incorporate activities like yoga, tai chi, or nature walks into the daily routine to build a habit of mindfulness and decrease fatigue. 4. Challenge and replace dysfunctional thoughts. Use cognitive restructuring techniques to identify, challenge, and replace the dysfunctional thoughts that create and maintain fatigue. 5. Build emotional resilience. Use DBT skills to better manage dysfunctional emotions and energy-sapping interpersonal conflicts. 6. Set meaningful approach goals. Identify the individual's values as the basis for collaboratively building approach goals to help achieve the individual's healthy desires. Set both long-term goals that help establish meaning and purpose in life, as well as short-term goals that increase the experience of pleasure that motivates an individual to continue to attain short-term goals considering the longer-term meaning-oriented goals. Understanding the distinction between approach goals and avoidance goals is very important in establishing maximally helpful goals to overcome the fatigue associated with depression. Approach goals focus on pursuing desirable outcomes or experiences, which is considerably different from avoidant goals, which entail evading or avoiding undesirable outcomes or experiences. While both types of goals may initially seem helpful, Research suggests that approach goals hold greater promise for improving motivation, resilience, and overall well-being. Approach goals are inherently helpful in ways that resonates deeply with most people. By directing attention toward what one desires to achieve or experience, rather than what one seeks to avoid, approach goals tap into the core of human nature to strive and attain. This helpful orientation not only gives goals a sense of purpose and meaning, but also creates a sense of agency and empowerment. Individuals pursuing approach goals are pulled forward by a vision of a more hopeful and attainable future, based on intrinsic motivation and enthusiasm. In contrast, avoidance goals often undermine motivation and increase psychological distress. By fixating on avoiding undesirable outcomes or experiences, individuals become caught up in a cycle of fear, anxiety, and avoidance. This constant being on alert for potential overwhelming threats overwhelms cognitions and attacks confidence, leaving individuals in a state of chronic stress and exhaustion. Moreover, avoidance goals often lack clarity and specificity, making it difficult to discern progress or celebrate achievements, further lowering motivation and morale. Furthermore, the pursuit of approach goals aligns seamlessly with the principles of acceptance and commitment therapy, ACT, which emphasizes the importance of clarifying values and taking committed action to attain desired life goals. Approach goals resonate with individuals on a deeply personal level, reflecting their authentic desires and hopes. By grounding goal-setting in values that are consistent with the individual's core sense of identity, 
individuals are more likely to have grit and remain steadfast when obstacles appear and the individual experiences setbacks. Such an individual has developed resilience and can be motivated and persevere to attain desired goals. When trying to overcome depression-induced fatigue, approach goals offer hope during major life challenges. By shifting the focus from avoidance to approach, individuals can harness experience the transformative power of goal setting to transcend fatigue and experience a life with more energy, vitality, and joy. Clearly, the link between depression and fatigue can be quite challenging, but not an insurmountable or overwhelming one. Developing insights and the techniques found within cognitive behavior therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, and acceptance and commitment therapy, individuals can build their energy levels and be more optimistic about attaining desired life goals. By understanding the interconnectedness of beliefs, emotions, and behaviors and taking steps to develop functional forms of all three of those factors, individuals can to a larger degree lower fatigue and look forward to a meaningful and purposeful future.